Hello, my loves. Welcome to your reconcile or release. Um, this is timestamp, so you can find the timestamps in the description box below or in the comment section. Um, this was actually requested uh, by one of my subscribers, um, so I decided to do just one video and do timestamps because I'm running very low on time today, okay? All right, guys, I hope you enjoy, and I will see you soon. Hello, my loves. Welcome to your reconcile or release for Cancer, Scott, uh, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Guys, I am running a huge sale on personal readings. If you would like to check it out, uh, the link is in the description box below, okay? So we're going to be pulling from two different decks. Um, one is going to be for um, reconcile, and the other should be if you should release it, okay? Holy Spirit, Angel Spirits and Guides, what clarity and guidance can we bring to my Cancers, please, for April 2020? Should my Cancers reconcile with this situation um, with their love person, or should they release, please, Spirit? Should my Cancers reconcile with their love interest, please? Holy Spirit, Angel Spirits and Guides, should my Cancers reconcile with their love interest, please, Spirit? Okay, so we have the Eight of Swords. We have the Five of Swords, and we have the Empress, okay? Under the deck, we have the Knight of Pentacles, Aries, Taurus energy, Capricorn, Virgo energy. Spirit, should my Cancers release this situation, please, Spirit? Should my Cancers release this love connection, please? Holy Spirit, Angel Spirits and Guides, should my Cancers release this love connection, please, Spirit? Aquarius, Gemini, Libra energy. We've got the Five of Cups and the Four of Wands, the Magician, Virgo, Gemini energy. All right, guys, so definitely this is reconciliation, okay? I feel like you're stuck in your head over this person. They are stuck in their head. Um, there may have been some words here that were said that someone here regrets with the Empress. This is your person, okay? Um, start a new beginning with this person. If you have to apologize for hurting somebody, then apologize. Stop being defensive or vice versa, okay? Stop blocking healing here, okay? So if you need to reach out, reach out. Whatever the case may be, definitely reconcile. If you release this connection, you're going to regret it, okay? If you try to cut off your emotions and use your head and not your heart, you're definitely going to regret it. This is a soulmate. Oh, this is a soulmate, a twin flame. Um, yeah, you manifested this person. You manifested this person into your life. So you will regret losing this person, okay? Let's see here. Holy Spirit, what messages do we have for my cancers, please? Okay, yeah, see, I feel like someone here is toying with the idea that their soulmate may lie somewhere else or might be somewhere else, but I feel that during this separation, you're starting to realize here that, you know, it's a lie, okay? You're lying to yourself. Um, this is, you have real feelings for this person, and this is your true love, okay? So there was a point here where maybe you thought that someone else would be better. That is not the case, Cancer, okay? I love you guys. I'll see you soon. Bye. Hello, my loves. Welcome to your reconcile or release reading for April 2020 for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. So we're going to use two decks. This side will be to reconcile. This side will be to release, okay? Guys, if you'd like to book me for a personal reading, information is below. I am having a huge sale right now, okay? All right, let's get started. Holy Spirit, Angel Spirits and Guides, should my Scorpios reconcile with their love interest, please, Spirit? What clarity and guidance do we have for my Scorpios? Should my Scorpios reconcile with the, in this connection for April 2020, please, Spirit? We have the Ten of Wands. We have the Emperor, Aries, Taurus, Energy. And we have the Ten of Pentacles, Page of Swords, under the deck, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, Energy. Okay, so let's see here. Holy Spirit, Angel Spirits and Guides, should my Scorpios release this connection, please, Spirit? What clarity and guidance do we have for my Scorpios? Should they release this connection, please, Spirit? There you are, Queen of Cups, Scorpionic Energy, the Five of Swords, and the Hermit, Virgo Energy, Four of Wands under the deck. 
So I'm feeling here that if you reconcile with this person, it is going to be a little tough on you because this person might be a business owner. Um, they may focus a lot on work. Um, or I feel that it's going to be hard on you because this person may be very stubborn, like they don't budge, okay? But this person is your Ten of Pentacles. They are your Ten of Cups, okay? So if you reconcile with this person, you are going to have a solid... Um, committed family energy here but with the ten of wands it is going to be hard on you you may not be happy in the connection but you'll have the stability okay now if you release the connection um yeah if you release this connection i feel Honestly, I feel like you might end up regretting it. You're going to feel like you sabotaged a good thing, okay? If you if you move away from this, you may, with that Five of Swords, end up regretting it, okay? Because with the Death card, you're going to realize here, there you are, Scorpionic Energy, the Seven of Pentacles. You're going to be thinking about the good times you shared, the stability. You're always going to be looking back at the connection, okay? So yeah, this is a rough one, okay? Because it's like a, you're caught between a rock and a hard spot here, Scorpio. If you stay, it's not going to be easy, but it'll be stable. And if you leave, you're never going to forget this person. They could be a soulmate. They could be a twin flame. Okay. So we have chemistry and we have, yeah, see, you're, you're going to be attracted to, to this person because they are a soulmate. This can lead to marriage. Okay. Um, so you may not be completely happy, but it is a very strong soul tie. Okay. I love you guys. I'll see you soon. Hello, my loves. Welcome to your Reconcile or Release Love Reading for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs for April 2020. So guys, if you'd like to book me for a personal reading, I am having a huge sale. Information is below, okay? Holy Spirit, Angel Spirits and Guides, should my Pisces reconcile with their person, please? Holy Spirit, should my Pisces reconcile with their person, please? Holy Spirit, Angel Spirits and Guides. Okay, so we have the sun, Leo energy, we have the eight of swords, and we have the three of cups, okay? Page of cups under the deck, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. Holy Spirit, angel spirits and guides, should my Pisces release this connection, please, Spirit? Should my Pisces release this connection, please, Holy Spirit? Should my Pisces release this connection, please? So we've got the Queen of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy. We have the Seven of Swords and we have the Six of Pentacles. Under the deck, the Four of Wands. Three times in a row that's come out. Um, so I feel here, Pisces, that if you reconcile with this person, you're realizing here that you may be getting yourself caught up. Yeah, this person may be married, Pisces, or in a, a, a relationship, okay? Because we've got man, woman, that snake on the tree. So you're coming to this realization here that if you reconcile with this person, you're going to be caught up in a third party situation, okay? So know that. If you release, you'll be moving on from somebody that was cheating okay this is cheating lying um you know what i'm saying you'll you'll have more stability you'll be fine on your own queen of pentacles is alone independent can take care of herself you don't need to deal with this type of energy yeah this that what i'm feeling here is you're coming to realize that you're, you're thinking this is stable but it's not this is actually nothing but drama here okay and you're really tired of it so i feel for pisces it might be better to release okay i love you guys and i'll see you soon Hello, my loves. Welcome to your Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus sign. Um, reconcile or release love reading for April 2020. So guys, if you would like to book me for a personal reading, I am having a huge sale. The information is in the description box below, okay? Holy Spirit, Angel Spirits and Guides, should my Virgos reconcile with their person, please, Spirit? Should my Virgos reconcile with their person, please? With, yeah, with their person, please, Holy Spirit. I lost my train of thought for a second. Okay, so we've got Temperance, Sagittarian Energy. We have the Hierophant, and we have the Four of Cups. Under the deck, we have the Four of Pentacles. Okay. 
Holy Spirit, Angel Spirits, and Guides, should my Virgos release this connection, please, Spirit? Should my Virgos release this connection, please? Holy Spirit, Angel Spirits, and Guides, should my Virgos release this connection, please? Holy Spirit, Angel Spirits, and Guides. We have the Nine of Cups. We have the Two of Wands. We have the Queen of Swords. Aquarius, Gemini, Libra energy. All right, guys. So what I'm feeling here is um, someone here is not going to want to reconcile because there's a third party. Yeah, someone here is that this could there could be healing here and it could be a beautiful, you know, connection here, Taurus energy, Sagittarian energy, but someone here is rejecting it. They they don't want the reconciliation. Okay. Why? They're holding back. They're holding back because they need to make a choice. There's someone new in the picture here. Okay. Um, now if you release this connection, okay, someone here feels that if they make the choice to release, they're gonna be much happier, possibly with this queen of um swords here but i feel like they will come to regret it they're always going to be looking back at the person that they left behind they're always going to be looking back at the person that they left behind you see they moved toward a passionate connection but now they're looking back at the emotional one so virgo i feel here that you should reconcile uh, you know i feel that many of you aren't going to want to because there's a third party but i feel like if you release and you don't reconcile you're going to regret it okay Holy Spirit, what messages do we have for my Virgos? We have calling in your soulmate, true love, and stay optimistic about your love life. Yeah, so I feel like, you know, you're calling in your soulmate, you're calling in your true love, and you're optimistic. The problem here is, Virgo, is that you're going to get confused. You're going to think that moving on to the new person is the right decision, but I don't feel that it is. I feel like you're going to regret it. The true love, the soulmate that you're calling in, the soulmate is on this side. This is a soulmate card, guys, okay? So reconciling with your current person is the way to go. That's the connection that's divinely guided, okay? Um, and the, I mean, we have an angel and a priest here, so this one is divinely guided. I love you guys. I'll see you tomorrow. Hello, my loves. Welcome to your Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus sign. Reconcile or release love reading for April 2020. So, guys, if you would like to book me for a personal reading, I am having a huge sale. The information is below, okay? Holy Spirit, Angel Spirits and Guides, should my Capricorns reconcile with their person, please, Spirit? Should my Capricorns reconcile with their person, please, Holy Spirit? We've got the Ten of Wands, we've got the Judgment card, and we have the Hanged Man. We've got the Four of Pentacles under the deck, okay? Holy Spirit, Angel Spirits and Guides, should my Capricorns release this connection, please? Should my Capricorns release this connection, please? Holy Spirit, Angel Spirits and Guides, should my Capricorns release this connection, please? Holy Spirit, Angel Spirits and Guides. Ten of Cups, the Magician, the Three of Swords. Okay, under the deck we have the Wheel of Fortune. Okay, so Capricorn, yeah, I, I don't feel, I, I feel definitely release here, okay? So what I'm getting here is you just simply don't want to reconcile, okay? I, asking this person for a second chance is a huge burden on you. You'd rather wait to see what happens here. You're holding back. The connection has become defensive, um, and, and you just want to be happy here, and I feel like you're finding your happiness with a third party, okay? Because here we have the third party, you know what I'm saying? We have the third party. We have someone else. If you have your eye on someone else, we have the Wheel of Fortune, the Ten of Cups, and the Magician. Virgo, Gemini, Energy. So, guys, if whatever you've been manifesting, you're going to get if you release this person, okay? If you release the heartache here. With the Hermit and the Page of Swords, yeah, you're starting to realize here that it's time to release possibly this ex, okay? Or this soulmate, all right? Past life soulmate. Um, I, I feel like it's time to reject somebody and to turn someone away and to take control of your life here. Okay, release the heartache. Spirit, what messages do we have here? Oh, we've got religious factors.
Yeah, see? So you may work with this third party. You may work with this person that, you know, you uh, you want to be with. But I'm feeling here trust. Trust. Um, release the ex, okay? And keep an open mind because your soulmate may be different than who you're expecting. Yeah, you're working on a connection right now where there's unrequited love. So definitely release Capricorn, okay? I love you guys. I'll see you tomorrow. Hello, my loves. Welcome to your Aquarius Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus sign. Reconcile or release love reading for April 2020. So guys, if you would like to book a reading with me, um, the information is in the description box below. I am having a huge sale. Okay. Holy Spirit, Angel Spirits and Guides, what messages do we have for my Taurus, please, Spirit? What clarity and guidance, what love messages do we have for my Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs, please? Holy Spirit, Angel Spirits and Guides, should my Taurus reconcile this connection, please, Spirit? Should my Taurus reconcile this connection, please, Spirit? We have the Nine of Cups. We have the Ten of Swords. And we have the devil, oh my gosh, and then the seven of cups, okay. Um, should my, my <laughs> should my Taurus release this connection, please, spirit? Should my Taurus release this connection, please, holy spirit, angel spirits, and guides? Should my Taurus release this connection, please, spirit? We've got the queen of wands. We've got the king of cups. And we have the Page of Swords under the deck. We've got the Five of Wands. Okay, definitely release. Let's just start there, okay? I feel that you really want this to be over with the Ten of Swords, okay? Uh, with the Devil card here, there's maybe cheating, lying, deception, a lot of toxicity. Um, there's a lot of other people that are getting involved in this, okay? Um, I feel like you don't trust this person enough to work on this connection. They've broken your heart over and over and over again or vice versa. It's just... Was bad. Um, now, if you release, okay, if you release, you may have to fight a little bit to, to move on, okay, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, this, it may be a little bit of a struggle to move on. Maybe you have to find a new place to live or whatever, you know what I'm saying, to regain your independence to shut this out, okay? So whatever trials you have to go through, whether it's divorce or whatever, you know, getting your stuff out, moving, whatever, but I feel like you're going to be independent. You're going to be fine. You're going to move on. You're going to be moving on to a connection here. You may meet this person online or you may have already met them. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Leo, Sag, Aries. We've got Capricorn on the board too. Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. Um, but there's going to be a connection here with both emotion and passion. Okay. Definitely release Taurus. <laughs> Definitely. Ten of Swords and the Devil. Yeah. And the Three of Swords release. Okay. All right, so we have it safe for you to love, true love, and we have make the effort. Yeah, you're you're trusting in this newer connection, I'm feeling. You feel the love, you want to make the effort, you feel like it's safe. I feel like, yeah, you're retreating, okay, and you're putting your wants and needs first. I love you guys, and I will see you tomorrow. Hello, my loves. Welcome to your reconcile or release um, love reading for April 2020. Uh, this is going to be for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. So guys, if you would like to book me for a personal reading, my information is below. I am having a huge sale right now, so be sure to check it out, okay? Holy Spirit, Angel Spirits, and Guides, should my Aquarius release this connection? No, let's just do reconciliation first. Holy Spirit, Angel Spirits, and Guides, should my Aquarius reconcile this connection, please, Spirit? Should my Aquarius reconcile this connection, please? Holy Spirit, Angel Spirits, and Guides. Should my Aquarius reconcile this connection, please, Spirit? So King of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Energy. We have the Page of Pentacles, and we have the Eight of Cups. Under the deck, we have the High Priestess, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Energy. Okay. Holy Spirit, Angel Spirits and Guides, should my Aquarius release this connection, please, Spirit? Should my Aquarius release this connection, please? Holy Spirit, Angel Spirits and Guides, should my Aquarius release this connection, please? Holy Spirit, Angel Spirits and Guides. We have the Ten of Swords. We have the Three of Wands. And we have the Ten of Pentacles. Under the deck, we have the King of Pentacles. Hmm, interesting.
All right, so what I'm feeling here, guys, is that um, if you should reconcile with this person, if you should offer this person commitment and stability, um, the connection is very detached, okay? We could be dealing with a Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Aries, possibly. Um, I feel like your intuition is telling you that this person is maybe way too um, uh, controlling, um, way too possessive maybe, everything has to be their way, like they wear the pants in the family and that's it, you know what I'm saying, it's their way or no way. Um, with temperance here and the six of cups, um, I'm getting maybe... Yeah, Aquarius, you're kind of, you might want to heal something with someone from your past I'm getting here, okay? Um, or you're looking for a soulmate in your life, something that's more evenly balanced, okay? So, I mean, you can reconcile, but I don't I don't see there as there's emotion here. Someone here is just more strict. They're more commanding, demanding, you know what I'm saying? Controlling, okay? Now, if you release and you let this go, okay, I feel that that Ten of Pentacles that you've been yearning for is going to come in, okay? With that King of Pentacles there, if you um, make a final decision here to close the door on this connection and put yourself first, I think that, yeah, I think you're going to get that, that new beginning with that, yeah. Okay, so if you put yourself first here, Aquarius, I feel if you leave this, you know, uh, water sign behind, because we have the water sign here too, okay, so if we, if you leave this person behind and start your new beginning, it's going to be way more peaceful for you, okay, you're definitely going to be happier, you're going to be more free, um, you know, instead of feeling trapped in this connection, so definitely release, I feel, Aquarius, okay, um, hold on, let's pull a couple of these, Holy Spirit, what messages, Ooh. Holy Spirit, what messages do we have for my Aquarius? Please, Spirit. Yeah, I feel here that, you know, we have forgiving and learning under the deck. I feel that, you know, you don't blame this person. You, I mean, you get it, but you're also feeling here that it's worth waiting for the right person in your life, someone that you could be flirtatious with. You're very optimistic that you could have a connection where there's more love, there's more um, emotion, more, you know, public displays of affection, let's just say, where the, the relationship is more peaceful and you get along better, okay? Um, you're going to forgive and learn, you know, learn the lesson from this person and you just, you know, I feel like you're going to wait for the right one, okay? I love you guys and I'll see you tomorrow. Hello, my loves. Welcome to your reconcile or release for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs for April 2020. So, um, guys, I am having a huge sale on personal readings. If you would like to check it out, the link is below, okay? Holy Spirit, angel spirits and guides, should my Geminis reconcile with their person, please, Spirit? Should my Geminis reconcile with their person, please, Holy Spirit? So we have the Strength card, Leo Energy, Page of Swords, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra Energy, and the Five of Wands, Six of Swords, under the deck. Holy Spirit, angel spirits and guides, should my Geminis release this connection, please? Should my Geminis release this connection, please? Okay, yeah, definitely release Gemini. So what I'm feeling here is that somebody is starting to come to the awareness or the conclusion. They're starting to see the truth of the matter, that this connection is not moving forward because there's too much drama, strife, possibly even competition. Um, yeah, someone here wants to get the hell out of Dodge. Someone here really wants to. It's just toxic. This is just Capricorn energy here. This is just toxic. Um, yeah, it's it's bad. So definitely release. We have the sun under the deck here. So we've got happiness. We've got your dreams coming true. We've got blessings coming true. Leo, Aquarius energy, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. So whatever you've been praying for or manifesting will come to fruition if you leave this behind, Gemini. What I'm feeling here, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy. Um, strong Capricorn here. Five of Wands and the Ace of Wands. So I feel that, you know, if you leave this behind, okay, um, 
it's going to be hard for you to move forward to gain your stability a little bit you know maybe you're very attached to this person so you're going to struggle a little bit moving away from this person but ultimately with that i feel like it's maybe housing that might be the issue but anyways most ultimately you're going to meet someone new a new lover here that's going to make you very very happy with that sun card okay yeah very happy let's see here spirit what messages do we have here for my gemini's please we have release your ex, past life relationship, and engagement. Um, yeah, I feel like this person maybe had a drug addiction with that devil card there. Drug addiction, drinking addiction, possibly sex addiction. They had a very codependent behavior. Maybe they were using you for money, okay? But we have here, release your ex, release the past, and move forward. You have a deeper commitment coming in, something that's going to make you happy. I love you guys. I'll see you tomorrow. Hello, my loves. Welcome to your Reconcile or Release Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus sign reading. Okay. So guys, um, oh, this is for April 2020. Guys, if you would like to book a reading with me, the information is below. I am having a huge sale on personal readings. Okay. Holy Spirit, Angel Spirits and Guides, should my Libra reconcile with their person, please, Spirit? Should my Libra reconcile with their person, please? Holy Spirit, Angel Spirits and Guides. So we have the Emperor, Aries, Taurus energy, the Magician, Virgo, Gemini energy, and the Ten of Cups. Under the deck, we have the Sun, okay? Holy Spirit, Angel Spirits and Guides, should my Libras release this connection, please, Spirit? Should my Libras release this connection, please, Spirit? Should my Libras release this connection, please? Holy Spirit, Angel Spirits and Guides. Seven of Cups, Four of Wands, and the Three of Wands. Okay, the Eight of Pentacles. All right, so what I'm feeling here, guys, all right, so what I'm seeing here is if you choose to reconcile with this person, okay, what you're looking to manifest will happen, okay, it will happen. We have an emperor and the ten of cups there, so kids, family, all that good stuff will happen. The only thing is, is that you have to be aware that there are going to be some challenges in this connection, okay? There's going to be challenges with learning how to love each other, um, learning how to come towards each other. Um, before you get to this awakening, before this person realizes that it is really you that they want, there's going to be some broken hearts here, okay? This person um, may, you know, put you in third-party situations. They may choose other people over you. It may be kind of bouncy, bouncy back and forth or whatever, but I feel that ultimately the end result here, if you can deal with all of that, is happily ever after. Now, if you release and you move on, I feel here that you're going to be putting a lot of work into connections that are constantly going to be turning into tower moments. People that have, you know, are dealing with other women, other men, player type people, people that just want, you know, sex maybe and then leave you hanging, okay? Whatever you're trying to manifest will be withheld. It'll be held back from you, okay? Your, the, you know, <laughs> your blessings will be withheld. With the Seven of Cups, the four of wands and the three of wands, you're going to have a lot of people that you're dating, but you're still going to be yearning for that stability. You're not going to find that soulmate or that twin flame. You're not going to find that person. Meanwhile, with this person, you're still going to go through trials and tribulations, but at least you know the outcome. Whereas over here, you're going through all the trials and tribulations and you're like, okay, well, what's the outcome here? Am I ever going to find my person? Okay. So I would say reconcile. Okay. Spirit, what messages do we have for my Libras? Okay, yeah. So I feel here that we have attraction, love yourself first, and passion. Okay. So Spirit is saying that during this time that this relationship is rocky, you have to just kind of go with the flow. You have to put yourself first. There's going to be passion, which will then lead to deeper commitment. Okay. Which will then lead to deeper commitment. All right. I love you guys, and I'll see you soon. Hello, my loves. Welcome to your reconcile or release love reading for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs for April 2020. So guys, I am having a huge sale on personal readings. If you would like to check it out, the link is below, okay?
Holy Spirit, angel spirits and guides, what clarity and guidance, what love messages do we have for my Leos? Should my Leos reconcile with their person, please, Spirit? Should my Leos reconcile with their person, please, Spirit? So we have the Eight of Wands, we have the Nine of Wands, and we have the Eight of Wands. How many wands, my Lanta? Page of Pentacles under the deck, Queen of Wands. Okay. Holy Spirit, angel spirits and guides, what messages do we have for my Leos and their person? What clarity and guidance, what love messages can we bring to my Leos, please? Should my Leos release this connection, please, Spirit? Should my Leos release this connection, please? Holy Spirit, angel spirits and guides. We have the Ten of Cups. We have the Ten of Pentacles. And we have temperance under the deck we have the five of wands so guys i'm gonna go with release okay because i feel that if you sit here and you offer this person another chance okay if they come and apologize to you and you give them another chance or if you apologize to them and they give you another chance and you guys promise to work on this connection i feel that you know it's, it's just not going to happen. One person here is going to block forward movement. Um, there, there's just nothing but blockages here. Okay. There's nothing like it should be moving forward, but block, 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 block. Like, you know, because this person is not putting in the work. They're not putting in the work. So <laughs> that's going to cause the connection to fail. Okay. Now, if you walk away, there you are again, the Queen of Wands. If you walk away from this connection, you're moving towards your Ten of Cups, your Ten of Pentacles, a soulmate, okay, big time soulmate with that Temperance card there, Sagittarian energy. You're you're moving towards maximum abundance with peace and roses and rainbows and unicorns. And I mean, this is like it can't be any more beautiful than this Leo, okay? So definitely release, okay? Spirit, what messages do we have for my Leo's please, Spirit? So we have let go of control issues, give your relationship a chance. So I feel like if you try to let go of trying to control the situation and you give this relationship a chance, I feel like it's you're going to end up leaving anyway with that honeymoon card, okay? I feel like it's not going to work out anyway. I feel like you guys are going to end up separating in the end anyway. Yeah, see, it's going to, you're going to end up realizing here that the person that you're meant to be with is not this person by the end of it. Okay. I love you. I'll see you soon. Hello, my loves. Welcome to your reconcile or release love reading for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs for April 2020. For whoever's having a birthday, happy birthday, Aries. Um, guys, if you would like to book me for a reading, I am having a huge sale. Information is below, okay? Holy Spirit, what messages do we have for my Aries today? Should my Aries reconcile with their person, please, Spirit? Should my Aries reconcile with their person, please, Spirit? Should my Aries reconcile with their person, please? So we have the Fool card. We have the Two of Swords. And we have the Eight of Wands. Under the deck, we have the Ace of Cups. Okay. Holy Spirit, Angel Spirits and Guides, what messages do we have for my Aries, please? Should my Aries release this connection, please? Holy Spirit, Angel Spirits and Guides, should my Aries release this connection, please, Spirit? Whoa. Four of Wands, the Three of Wands, the Ten of Cups under the deck, the King of Pentacles. Okay, so Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, energy on the board. So guys, I feel that if you... Yeah, if you stay with this person... Yeah, they're your twin flame. They're your soulmate. If you sabotage this connection, okay, you are going to regret it. With the full card, the two of swords, and the, the eight of wands, I feel 
that someone here has been going through this energy of not wanting to commit, making, you know, not blocking this from moving forward, okay? But if you allow yourself to fall in love with this person, I see marriage, I see, you know, you're going to have a major awakening, twin flame soulmate awakening here. Um, uh, and I feel that, yeah, I feel that, you know, if you sabotage this, it's, it's, you know, you don't want to, trust me, because I feel that if you move on and you release, okay, if you move on and you release, you change who you want to be with, you're saying like, listen, I'm better off on my own. I, I, I want to put this commitment to death here. You're never going to find anybody like this person. Okay. You're never going to find anyone that can offer you that stability, that love, that, that marriage feeling that, you know, you're my person type of feeling that twin flame soulmate connection. You're going to be yearning for this your entire life. So I would definitely say, um, reconcile. Okay. Spirit, what messages do we have here for my Aries, please? Okay, so under the deck, we have give your relationship a chance, healing family issues, and let your friends help you. So Aries, if you don't know how to bring this together, if you don't know how to reconcile with this person, um, Spirit is saying to, um, you know, maybe get your family and your friends to help heal this situation, you know, to, to give you advice on how to heal this, okay? I love you guys, and I'll see you soon. Hello, my loves. Welcome to your reconcile or release for um, April 2020 for Sagittarius, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Guys, if you would like to book me for a reading, I am having a huge sale. The information is below, okay? Holy Spirit, Angel Spirits and Guides, should my Sagittarius reconcile with this person, please, Spirit? Should my Sagittarians reconcile with their person, please? Holy Spirit, Angel Spirits and Guides. Should my Sagittarius reconcile with their person, please? We've got the Hermit Virgo energy. We've got the Six of Cups. And we have the Ace of Pentacles. Under the deck, we have the Lover's card. Okay, Gemini energy. Holy Spirit, should my Sagittarians release this connection, please, Spirit? Should my Sagittarians release this connection, please? Holy Spirit, angel spirits and guides. Should my Sagittarians release this connection, please? We've got the Hanged Man. We've got the Ace of Cups. And we've got the Ten of Pentacles. Under the deck, we've got the Five of Wands. Okay, so I would definitely say release, Sag, okay? Because I feel here that, you know, if you're withdrawn from this ex right now and they come in with an apology and you give it a chance, I feel like this person, you'll put in a lot of work on this connection, but this person gives into temptation, okay? There's something here that's a threat to your connection and this person, um, you could be putting in all the work you want, but this per it'll always be like a third party. Your intuition is telling you that you'll You'll always end up feeling rejected you're not going to get what you want you're going to give love and not get love okay whereas if you leave this connection you have to wait a little bit okay so it's not going to come in right away but you will fall in love with your ten of pentacles and have your happily ever after okay it's going to be a little bit of a struggle because you know you're going to feel like when is my ship coming in when is it you know what i'm saying you're going to feel a little lonely because it is going to be a little bit of a wait but then we do have this person coming in, okay? We do have them coming in, a Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy with an offer that'll move forward quickly, okay? This could be a past life soulmate. This is the person that you've been praying for. All right, guys, let's see here. Spirit, what messages do we have here from my Sagittarius, please, Spirit? We have playfulness, we have calling in your soulmate, and we have codependency. So under the deck, we've got reconciliation. So what I'm getting, guys, is we have... I feel like you know that this person um, is just toying with you, okay? They have a very, uh, they have like an addiction here. This person may not be able to tell someone, no, listen, I'm in a relationship. So if this person is out and someone flirts with them, they can't help themselves. They play too much, okay? 
you're in the process of calling in your soulmate right now with reconciliation i have to be honest because we've got reconciliation and getting to know each other i feel like this is a past life soulmate that's coming into play and i felt that here too okay um you guys have went through many lives together with that wheel of fortune so i feel like you're calling in someone and it's uh, past life soulmates are great because it's like your souls immediately connect one with one another and now you just have to get to know each other as the people you are in this life which is really cool okay I love you guys and I'll see you soon.